You know, Paul, you're also a very different from other AP leaders I've met in the past, um, and I mean this in a good way. You carry a certain aggression with you, which I think was much needed in Asia. I'm really a very nice person. I know you are, but I'm just saying that <laughs> there is a healthy level of aggression that I think is required, especially at a time when IBM is morphing into this product company. And as a product company, the amount of aggression in terms of sales and digital sales and push has to be of much level difference, a different level altogether. Because, uh, and we spoke, we spoke about this earlier today that um, responding to before RFPs even are created, but there's also going to be a huge sales motion which is going to be requiring RFP based responses at scale. And that's where this aggression can really come to use to sort of channelize the partners. Having said that, you know, um, Asia has always been very partner led. Uh, it's been very rich in terms of the skills we've had in partners, but uh, the, Pare the Pareto's 80-20 principle applies uh, where only 20% of the partners really move the needle when it comes to large deals, mega deals and all of that. Now, as somebody who is a true believer in channels, uh, in your own words, a channel is the king really, right? Uh, how do you think about the new channels for Asia? Because uh, the, same, the same measures of the past will not really work in the new IBM. Well, uh, so I was here 12 years ago. Uh, I lived in Shanghai for a period of time. Um, so I was full-time in the region, living in the region, I think 10, 11, 12, and 13. But I've been traveling to and from the region consistently for the last uh, probably 14 years at this point. And um, it is a um, partner-led region. And if I were to put a number on that, I'd say at least two-thirds of the addressable market for IBM is only addressable through partners. Yeah, um, so two-thirds is a big number. And so if, if we're going to post any type of growth, we're going to have to grow that two-thirds chunk of the market. We have to address it and we have to be successful with it, uh, which means we got to have an ecosystem strategy or a partner strategy that makes sense. And it can't just make sense for IBM, it's got to make sense for the partner too. So that's this idea of this shared value proposition uh, that I talked about a little bit earlier today. And we've got to craft a shared value proposition that makes sense for IBM, but that the partners fully embrace because they have to want to work with us. Sure. Uh, so that, that's point one. Uh, the second point is, is I think IBM over the years, I'm, I'm just being a little bit uh, critical at this point, I think IBM over the years has not had, especially in AP by the way, has not had the intensity of focus and the long-term commitment yeah. to the channel that it needs. Um, you know, you, you can go out and say a bunch of things, but if you don't follow through with it, you don't stick with it day after day, month after month, year after year, then you're fickle. I appreciate your candor, though, because and, you know it's, it's a tough thing to call out, really, for IBM. Well, I mean, you, you know, you know, <laughs> you, you, if you don't recognize the problem, how are you going to fix it, right? And so I've been um, from the day I got here on January fourth. I think one of the first things I did is I mentioned that um, we're doubling down on the channel and we're going to get serious about it. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to focus on uh, the set of partners who. Um, um, have a vision that's compatible with ours that we can work successfully with that, that we want to have a shared intimacy with um, and that we can go to market together with and we will invest in them and to some extent obviously we're going to expect them to invest back in us they invest back in us by getting trained on our technology learning our methodologies um, and uh, you know approaching client segments um, and dealing with issues that of course are, are good for us. So let's double click on that a little bit. Even before we talk about the additions you're going to make in terms of, let's say, training, manpower, etc. First, let's talk about a little sticky topic, which is, have you actually fired a few partners for not doing the right business <laughs> your way? Well, let, let's put it, I don't like to use the word fired. As a, as a, as a reformed lawyer, I try to yeah. make, not make absolute statements. Okay. Uh, we've de-emphasized mm -hmm. uh, several partners and we'll continue to de-emphasize more partners. Um, look, you know, we, we have a very specific strategy, hybrid cloud AI. We have a specific product set. We can go through that. We have specific methodologies and capabilities, and we have an outlook on the world. And, and um, um, that's not necessarily for everybody, but it's for many. That's true. And, and so if, if you match up with all of that, uh, then we want to be a partner with you. And we don't have to partner in every opportunity because our interests will never 100% overlap. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we will partner with you and we work, we'll work collaboratively with you and we will go do business together, um, not only for our own mutual benefit, but primarily, of course, for the benefit of the client who we need to deliver value to. Is there a percentage of the uh, partners you have de-emphasized on? 
<laughs> well, I, I haven't I haven't done the math lately, and I haven't tallied it, uh, but we've definitely de-emphasized uh, some partners in favor of other partners for the purpose of delivering you know better value to our clients. The reason I say that is because uh, there is power and focus, and I think uh, what IBM did in the past was to try and be relevant to everybody and appeal yeah. to everybody. And that was the same for the partners as well. Yeah, you know, if you're everything to everybody, you're nothing to everyone. That's, that's yeah. the point, yeah. Yeah, and so I think, um, and so we, we have an idea, you know, we have this belief that, you know, we'll focus with certain partners and we'll invest in them and they'll invest in us. And there's no limit on how many that, that can be. So it's not as if we're purposely excluding anyone, we're not. Um, but we have so much resource and so much attention, and those that are knocking on our door saying, hey, you know, we think we can work successful with you, let's go do it. Mm -hmm.